Hello, my name is Alison Wake and I am an artist who stitches. Stitch is my medium in the same way as a painter uses paint. Painting with yarn, this is what I do. I use thread and fabric in a free way to create textural, almost sculptural effects. I work by hand, predominantly using locally sourced hand dyed wool. The local dyers I buy my wool from are also inspired by the Peak District landscape and create the perfect palette for me to work with. I live in Flag in the heart of the Peak District National Park, surrounded by inspiration on my doorstep. Hills, rocks, rivers, trees, the natural beauty of the area and the ever-changing seasons and light. but the influence of humanity is also everywhere. This is a working landscape and I'm fascinated by the marks we leave behind us. The artistry of farmers, marks of industry, past and present. And I love to draw on these features. I like looking at well-known landmarks from a different angle not just the classic tourist shot. Looking through trees in spring when you can still see through the branches. Up at something, not face on. Or take a classic view and then focus in on some less familiar aspects. So what processes do I follow in creating my art? It starts with gathering reference material. I'm constantly observing, taking photographs, making sketches. At home, I condense my ideas and end up with a simple line drawing, which will form the framework of my picture. I usually transfer my line drawing onto the fabric using a light box or a sunny window. I tack my sketch behind the fabric and trace with water-soluble pen. Selecting a colour palette comes next. I have a collection of wools in a variety of colourways. The beauty of hand dyed wool is that colours become blended and gradients are created, offering me a far greater range of depth and tone than single coloured yarns or silks. Then I paint with yarn, using a very similar technique to painting. Making paint strokes of varying lengths to create movement, light and texture. creating a gradient in the sky with specially dyed wool. The bulk of an image is usually stitched in wools and I then add details with finer wools and silks. This time lapse is speeded up three times. You'll see I'm looking at the colours in the thread as they come through and moving around the picture to place them as required. It involves quite a lot of jumping around so the back can get very messy. People ask me what stitch do you use? Long ones and short ones mainly. But I do utilise a variety in order to create texture in my images. Using long stitches to define the landscape, smaller ones for details, French knots for trees and bushes, adding definition and shaping with seed stitches. If you look at falling water, you'll see that it twists. So I use twisted stitches for water. Twisted stitches long bullion knots to create the impression of flowing water. The base layer is very important as it is in painting. I use a chain stitch to create a feeling of movement, then add depth and the texture of bubbles with French knots.
Presentation of finished pieces is very important as my work is fine art and needs to be displayed as such. First, I stretch the wet fabric on a board to ensure that the image is square. When dry, I stretch it around acid-free foam board, pinning into the side of the board. I fold the fabric around the board and secure with silk pins, which are flat on the reverse. Then remove the side pins. And I'm left with a flat, stretched, square image ready for framing. Thank you for taking the time to view my talk today. If you have any questions, please raise them in the comments section of this video and I will try to answer them. If you want to see more of my work, including more inspiration and work in progress videos, please visit my website www.cognisart.co.uk